How's it going? This is Paul from Flutter Ferry. Today, I'm going to talk about three important things on our taxi app. First, it's going to be setting up our driver's account. So, previously, we set up our user's account for our um, taxi app, and which is what you were seeing on our previous video so this video we are going to set up our driver's account and also customize the look for our driver so and the second is going to be live tracking so it's going to be kind of an intro to that on that aspect so we are not going to talk a lot about it and also we are going to add some privileges for our users like rules so that would be the thing so it's going to be setting up our driver's account intro to live tracking and also and also giving our users privileges so who are these users the users are the people using the app and these users can be the admin the users can be the driver and also the users can be the passenger so we are going to separate these rules for our driver our passenger and also our admin so and the driver can have a specific action to our database and also the passenger and also the admin so let's hop over to it and today i'm not going to i'm going to code in and i'm just going to review the code i'm going to explain how the code works and everything i did to make this a success on the demo i'm going to do here so i'm going to sign up with my phone number here click on the next button here and wait for the verification i'm going to wait for some seconds and here is the verification i'll copy that code and paste it in here so you can see that we have changed um our app look like the first page you see the image we changed it and also the text field here we have changed it if you've been following the video so i'll click on next and it's showing very fine here and here we have our setup account so previously on the setup accounts and um, tutorial we just had just this ui so i've added a few actions here like i'm a driver and switching this on and give you the privilege to add your vehicle type your vehicle manufacturer the vehicle color and also your license plate number so i'm going to add the name test driver one as last name and test as the email and the vehicle type i'm going to leave it as suv and manufacturers as bmw and the color is going to be black and I'm going to use random plate number and click on the ok here and wait for some times and we get verified so you can see that we have a the icon here for the driver as a car and you can see your current location and also you can go offline by clicking this um button here and if you click on it you will go offline and if you click on it you come online so this is the action that is going to be different from um, the user and um, the passenger and also the driver so the driver is going to be able to update his his active present and the user which is the passenger is not going to be able to um, update this like what we have here so it's not going to be mostly by the um, passengers like uh, action so it's going to be mostly like things of when he, he or she minimized his app and maybe go to background and things like that maybe terminate the app so that's when the offline action is going to be set up and so that's all we are going to do for this and if i should zoom in here you are going to see um a little of the tracking here so you can see our car is moving just changing and um, position so that's all what we are going to discuss in this video so i'm very happy to bring this to you guys and if you're not a subscriber to this channel i would like you to do that 
so you'll be getting awesome flutter videos and programming videos and um, anytime we upload it and um, so that's all we're going to do on this video okay so i have opened our project on vs code and i have added some few images here and i have added this car icon which is what you're actually seeing here and also we have the new image i added so on our previous video i showed you guys how this was being added and being able to add all of this the cycle pin and um, the pin everything needs to be configured on the pop spec.html file so you need to go to your assets here and add this asset slash images and assets slash icons so you can actually use the assets and um, folders here on your app so i'm going to explain the first is going to be setting up our driver's account so first is we are going to look at how our user models look like so i have added a few things here the rules so the first i have added here is the rules and you can see that we have different rules for a particular user in the app we have a passenger we have a driver and also we have the admin and i have also updated the way our user model is it was previously nullable type so now i have made it non-nullable and i have made some of the values here the variables here nullable so like the latitude and um, we might not get the latitude for a passenger but we will really need it for a driver and also we might not get it for the admin as well so this is mostly for the driver to get his um, current position as latitude and longitude here we have the uid and some few new variables we have like the license plates the vehicle type colors and manufacturers and also here we have it as the rule as the rules which is an enum here you know an enum is a constant type um here and we are going to assess this as a list and the zero zero is the passenger and one is the driver and two is going to be the admin so in our database that's how it is being stored so here in our database we have here in our database we have the rule as one so if it is one that means this particular user the current user of the app is going to be a driver so and here is how we distribute this to what we have so here we have the data that is going to be passed to and um, from map here and it's going to be a string of a map of string and dynamic and um, and we are going to initialize it by getting the the uid from from a database and store it to a user and all of this so we are going to return a user here so whenever this any of the values there is being called we get whatever we have assigned here and for this getters we have set the getters for his passenger rule so i just did a check the rule is um, rules dot passenger and this is going to return true if this is true and same we did for driver rule and also we did for admin and here we have the get full name and i am using concatenation here for the first name and last name and having this space here to give us some nice space there and the next is going to be the next is going to be how um, we implement this in our user repository first we have the sign up accounts here and we have passed in a user here so the our user model previously we were just passing some random values like the first name last name and things like that so currently now we are just using the user as our um arguments or parameter we are going to be passing here and from this user we are going to get the 
uid we are going to get the email the first name last name and all every other thing that we need like we have the rules and we are going to assess the rules with the index and push it to our database so you can see that this if this is a successful um, request we are going to push all of this to our database and here we are using the updates method and we are looking through in the documents of the user the current user id and we are also using the firestore firebase firestore collection users and after this is being pushed we are going to get this user and so we update this user and notify the listeners so everywhere in our app is going to get the current user and update itself so that's what we are doing on the setup account here and we have that and um, the driver setup we have it on the widget here and we have it on the setup account so if you go to the alt widgets and setup accounts you're going to see how we did this so i'm going to show you how this is being done first we are having a row and a switch a cupertino switch and also we are having is driver row so if you go into the hot state you're going to see is driver row let's go and see that so going in we are going to do a check of the rule we have added here as a passenger and we are going to check if this is going is a driver this is going to return true so this is going to be true and we are going to use a setter here to change the rule state so and we are going to pass an integer here so if the integer is zero it's going to be a passenger if it is one is going to be a driver and if it is two is going to be an admin so this is how we are using it on the ui and here we are passing if the unchanged value here from the copertino switch is true we are going to make this one and if it is false we are going to make this zero that means the person is a the user is a passenger and i have a nice size box here I'm using the city team element spacing and i'm using half of that and also i have a text here with the inscription that says i'm a driver and i'm using the headline of six from our team text team and here i'm also using the padding of elements spacing and in our builder here so because i'm using a builder here i have here if the state is true is false we are going to um, set this to be um, an empty space and if it is true we are going to display the text field in a column so we have the first text field i'm going to show you in the app i'll just go in in our home and so you can see the action of this i just make this a false okay here, here it is so you can see that clicking on this and um, display and setting this to passenger and um, give us this white space here we have so that's what we are seeing on the on the builder here so you can go in and see the text field and and go through the code if you're interested in it and the next here we have a row and that's what we have as a row the vehicle color and the plates number so by clicking on the icon here the floating action button that ticks so you are going to confirm that and there in the floating action button is what we have as a auth button so by verifying and log in so we are going to push the next page index to two and if it is two we are going to sign up so let's look at the sign up so first we are going to set this active state 
to okay the phone out state to loading and also we are going to get the map service position so this is going to happen for drivers so our drivers you need to get their current position when they have signed in so and initially i was thinking of um, adding a text field that actually search up for a location so we can maybe assign a particular geographical zone to our driver so he can operate on that and that we get the map service so it's going to be this is going to return an address so i'm going to change this to an address and this is going to return from our map service and we can assess our latitude and longitude from the address there and here we have the the user id and also the first name and also we have the email here we have passed in and also we have the created at because this actually is not really needed because we have done that done that on the first verification and it's verified you set it to true and our license plate number you can see that on setup accounts that we on every text field here we have a controller and clicking on that you see all the text field we have for the sign up so that's what we are using and the next is the phone and um, we're going to update that the vehicle type vehicle color and as well as the rule so i've explained how it look like on the user repository how we are using it so here is the setup account and we pass in a user so here is the user and i'm going to call on the user repository and pass in this particular user and sign the user up and update the phone auth changes to success to success so that is that for the driver and the next i'm going to talk about now is going to be is going to be the intro to the location tracking so first i'm going to take you down i'm going to save this and go back to our phone our home in the pages folder and remove the exclamation mark so we can actually view our map so you can see our vehicle is actually um, updating as you can see we are having a live tracking here and if i should um, move out and start going to somewhere now you see our vehicle keep updating its location our, you see our cars being moving and stuff like that so i'm sure you will just clone this and um, repository to your machine and i think everything you need will be there like the images which we have the car and if you're doing this on your end just make sure you face the car upward so you can always you can always see it move this way and so not face it down so you get bad effects so you get bad effects so i'm going to i'm going to show you how this is being done so first i'm going to take you to our map service so here we have the map service and here so here we have the map service here we have the map service and i'm going to explain a little on the new method i've added or some new um, features i've added to what we have earlier so we i'm going to explain you the ad marker because this is one of the interesting parts of this and previously this was returning a set but currently now i'm making this to return a list of markers and you can see that we are going to get some few parameters here we're going to get some few parameters here like the address the bitmap describe descriptor which is going to be the icon you're seeing here and also we have the date time info window type so i have explained this on most of our videos and also we have the position being passed and the position could be null it's not really something that is going to be real required on some cases it's going to be null so here on the address and also the address here could be null as well so we are going to check if this address is not null and we create a new marker from the marker we have here and all of this is from the google map flutters 
plugin so if you get that to your project what we have here so can just take you to see what we have here so you see that we have some few plugins we have added here like firebase core firestore which are using to access the database the firebase alt equitable sms autofill google map so here is where we are getting the, the marker so i'm going to so here we are going to um, assign this to the marker we have here and first parameter we have here is the marker id and the marker id here we are using the address id as the marker id and the position here we are getting it from the address and the icon here we are getting it from what we have here so if this is being added to our map if this is being added to to our map and we pass in the beep map descriptor icon here we're going to see whatever icon we have passed in so if we change the user presence for this like if i get into the database and change this to zero and restart our project and wait for some times and you're going to see that the look has changed for the user and you can see that the icon here of the marker has also changed so it's based on the rules of the user we are changing this so the next is going to be the rotation and we are getting that from the position here so if we pass in the position we are going to get position heading so you can see this is the heading in which the device is travel traveling in degrees so wherever we point our phone and we are going that's where the marker is going to be pointed so on the case of the car we had the vehicle we had here and if we point it to a direction that's where the direction is going to be pointed from the top here so here we're just using circle for the user and um, the passenger and the next is the anchor i'm um, using the offset of 0 0.5 0 0.5 and this index so you can just see here by the drawing of the other of the map of valley like how high this is so that's what the index here is and also the on top so when this is tapped we have the controller and we add the info window so just like we have here at the info window and here so whenever we want to add a marker to our map and we are going to use the markers here to add that so i'm going to click here so you're going to see that this is a list of markers and it's using the type of value notifier for this so we can always update our ui we can always update our ui and here we are checking before a marker is being added to our map we will check if this marker already exists and from here i'm using the index where to check and if this returns a minus one that means the index doesn't exist and we are going to add the marker and if this is a zero we are going to remove the marker and add a new one so it's happening like a kind of an update we give to the marker just like what we have here so if i zoom in here you can see that in action so this is moving we are removing the marker and adding a new one and that's what this action does and we will notify the the value notifier so we can use that on our ui so that's the first and the second important is the listener so listen to position changes so first we are going to get event firing this is actually kind of a callback we are going to use it use it on our map states so first we are going to check and request for permission here and if the check here is true we are going to print this started location and we have a position stream here we have created here on our map service and this is going to be a stream subscription so this is a way of um setting up a stream subscription so always update our ui and and also this is going to be of a type position and also we can also close this like and um, calling the dispose here we cancel this position stream so just take the position stream is a way of getting our current user and um, position in real time so that's what it does and here we assign that to get position stream from the geolocator plugin and we have some few setup we are going to do here like the location and um, accuracy and um, this is going to be desired accuracy of high and the time limit is going to be 60 seconds so this is going to be firing a new location and um, 
whenever where we are going or whenever we are moving every 60 seconds so and we are going to call the event firing and pass in our current position so that's why we have this um, function and pass in our address and the next is going to be we are going to get the get our get address from coordinates we are going to get that and assign it to our current position and also we get our icon our map icon so here is the interesting part of how we get different icons for our map here we pass in the get user map icon so here we are returning this as a string because it's going to be a string of um, our asset folder and here we have the rules as current user rules from the user repository so going in here you're going to see that we are doing a getter that gets the current user rules so that's how it is being done and the user rule we are checking if this is a driver we're going to return a car image assets car and if this is a normal user we're going to return that's the passenger the cycle pin so let's see how this is done here so first you're going to um, have the image asset and assign each of the part of what we have here in our assets so this is the assets images images and the car so if you call this car you are going to get what is here so that's what we are doing here we are getting the car and using it in our um our get map icon so this is going to take a, a string and icon part so this is how it is done so i've explained this previously on setup and map and some of our previous video earlier so you can check this out this is done and we always going to update our marker with the current position so one of the things that changes i've done to our get address from coordinates here is is adding an id so in the address model we've added added an id here so the reasons for this id is because we want to uniquely detect an address and also updating that address in our map so we don't just add more addresses or more markers to our map and we are the current user of that um, um person using the app so it's going to be something um a lot of markers is going to be added to the map when we are listening so with this id we can check for that and update that particular address that's what the id is doing and the id we are using the current user id for that and if the current if the id here so we are currently passing an id here if there is no id here we are going to use the current user id so that's how it is done and this i have explained it and we pass in the address here so let me show you how we did this on our map states so in our map states we have some few things here we have the where this is really done is the load my position so here in the load my position we have the position here and it's going to either be a null value or the position so we are going to check if this is null we are going to load this position and first we are getting the position from get current position and we are setting that position to our start address so that's what we are seeing on the map here and the next is we are calling the listing to position changes and that we are going to always update our address so our start address with the address we get here and and we call on the listing to always listen to that and always animate our camera towards that start address position and the next year if this is not null we are going to get our position and pass in the position here so that that is how it is being done and animate our position to the start address and um, address we have here and always notify our map to always display on the ui so that's how that is being done and the next i'm going to explain here is the change active presence so this is mostly done for the driver and changing this to one changing this to one and restarting our app is going to set this to a driver 
it's going to set this to a driver and so here we have our drivers being set up so it's setting this now clicking on the go offline and gets you to offline mode so it's active so it's active is true so let me see let's see what's updates here i'll just do this again so let me see oh my internet is being disconnected so my internet is being disconnected so clicking on this should get you to um is active true and false clicking on this should get you that and the next is going to be the next is going to be how this is actually used on our map view so in our map view we have a value listenable builder that listens to our address changes which is our current position and we are having our current position being added here as the value and the checking if that is no we're just using the circle progress indicator and here we have the stack of what you're seeing here and we are having the value listenable builder and that listens to a list of markers so it can always update just like you are seeing here it's updating it's updating so the next we are using here is the value listenable listenable and we are passing the the value notifier so and also we are returning our google map and from there we are using the markers so initially the marker is a list and we will just call to set here and if this is null we will get an empty set here so an initial camera and all of this has been explained so um the next is the bottom slider we have here so for different and um, position here for different user like the driver and the u and um, the passenger you are going to have a different look for that because we are using currently a single app for the passenger and the driver maybe in the future we could have an admin panel that controls this so but for now we're just having just two privileges which is going to mostly be the passenger and the, the driver and here in the bottom slider you are having here we are going to check on the slider height so we are going to check if the the user current rule is a driver we set the height to 15 percent of the screen of um, the entire screen we have here and this is what you, you're seeing and also in the take ride here you're going to check if this is a driver and if this is true we are all getting this from here state currency is a driver if this is true we are going to set it to true and display the city car button so the button here is going to change active presence which i've explained on the map state and we are going to change the title based on the is active here so let's see what is active is so if this is active I'm going to show go offline if this is um okay if this is active I'm going to show go offline if this is false I'm going to say go online and if this is active it's going to show green like what you're seeing here and if this you're not active it's going to show red so for you to go active on the on top call back here here is what we have we always notify the is active and calling the updates online presence so on the on updates online presence we are updating the user documents of the uid here and we are always updating to the boolean variable we pass here so we are checking if the id is not null and we are going to update the is active here and return the user so that's what we are doing 
here and think that is all what we are i'm trying to show you the progress we are having here so we are having a lot of good progress in the map here so on our next video we are going to talk more about the um the real time um tracking we are going to talk about um the rides of when a user requests a ride he can see the drivers that are available on a particular um, geographical zone like maybe we're going to set up a geofence well i've not done that yet but i'm going to investigate so if you have an idea of how to do that you can leave that in the comment section if you have any question towards this leave it on the comment section if it's a pressing question you want to um, um reach me privately you can head, of, head over to my twitter accounts at the Mekon, at the Mekon and message me i'm always available there so i think that's all for this video